Alright YouTubers, um, comes to my attention a video called Dear Fat People. So, I'm gonna make my own version of it. Um, if you don't know much about it, just YouTube Dear Fat People and while I grab myself some fried chicken, I'm gonna be making the video. So you might see a little bit of references in there, but for those of you that don't know, Dear Fat People was, um, a video made by some blonde, some blonde chick, um, Nicole... Oh lord, what's her name? Something. But, yeah, I'm gonna make my little counter argument. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Dear fat people, butter my biscuits and call me David Jones. There's nothing really wrong with us. Mmm, butter and biscuits. Society just wants to label us for who we really are. You know, sometimes it's really natural. Obesity can be um, a natural given disease, or it could also be from eating too much butter. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Obesity, though, is not only just found in America, it's also found in different countries like Mexico, which is the number one most populated country for obesity. Maybe that's why Donald Trump is trying to get rid of us all. Lord have mercy, I just made myself some fried chicken. <gasps> oh no, the background changed. Ooh. We shouldn't be picking on people just because they're overweight or bigger. I'm a big boy and I know big bone is not a thick, a real thing. But why am I still chubby? We shouldn't let some blonde be telling us what is right and wrong between fat people. I mean, what's with the lines? We're not talking about this or this. We're talking about this. Is it weird that a Mexican has to tell you about what obesity really is? Most heart diseases do not come from being fat. Like for me, I'm asthmatic, but that's because I've been around smoking around. You know, that's a heart disease. Diagnosed. But maybe the blonde has a doctoral degree. <gasps> no, she doesn't. Bottom line is that fat people are not a real bad thing. Granted, we have disabilities because we can't walk, maybe. Even though my legs look mighty sexy. People do struggle with being heavyweight and that's not their fault. It's just the way they were born. We have a craving for food. I can really go for some tacos right now. Dang, anybody else want some tacos? You? 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 Anybody? Please? Yeah? No? Okay. Let's not hate on fat people because one person's getting mad. We're all people. Big, small, all the same. Except for gremlins. Gremlins are evil people. This should be a vine. I love what I do and I do it freely. I do what I want and... So what if I'm a little overweight? I'm like 50 pounds, which is almost obese to overweight. And I'm okay. I'm healthy. I'm in a happy relationship. I have amazing family. Because they love me. I have friends like Diamond and Franco and Chubster. These are all real people. By the way, also, you can go subscribe to them, um, you know, there's also a few more, Raymond, uh, Josue, you know, go subscribe. I think I mentioned them in a few videos ago. Why are we gonna hate on this blonde? I'm not saying to hate her, but I'm saying that what she's saying isn't right. If my video does reach out to you, I hope you enjoy this, but you know what? Fat people are people, blondes are still people, everyone's people, so why pick on them? What was it, fat hating or something like that? Fat shaming, there you go. Why are we gonna fat shame? Fat shame me? Don't worry, I'll go take you some burritos. Or maybe we can get fried chicken. Let's just love all people and forget about this whole hatred and fat shaming and blonde shaming and Mexican shaming and whatever shaming there is.